So dating in a digital world brings an ease to finding exactly what you want in a partner, but there's also a dark complexity that we see with that. Sometimes people aren't who they say they are, and that's what's called catfishing. MTV's Catfish shows how people navigate their online relationships as they collide with real life encounters. So joining us this morning is writer, producer, and host of Catfish, Neve Shulman. Hi, <laughs> good morning. Thank you for being here. Of course, happy to, happy to be here. Although I will make one small correction. I'm not a writer uh, because the show is not written. It is actual reality. It's real people. Uh, we don't make any of this up. Yeah, no, and we'll get to that for sure. I just want to make sure you're who you you say you are. We're not getting catfish, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, sadly, I am the slightly older version of myself from the clips that you showed before. Uh, still here, still doing this show. <laughs> well, and that's a huge thing to accomplish, truthfully. 210 episodes and counting. It's really crazy to me and hard to wrap my head around the fact that uh, people are still in this predicament when you think of, you know, all the things we can kind of learn from the show. So really, what has yeah. it taught you working on this project? Well, I think it's taught me a lot about the human heart uh, and, and the human experience. People from all walks of life from different cities, from different places, at different ages, all seem to have the same vulnerability when it comes to finding love and feeling affection and, and being seen and heard. And when your, your heart is getting what it wants, oftentimes the brain doesn't necessarily, you know, look out for the red flags that it should. And I think it's just taught me a lot about empathy and connecting with people and, and making sure, you know, you hold space for someone and give them a chance to express themselves and, and be heard and listen to them and tell their story. Yeah, and as you mentioned, Catfish really lies in that realm of it's a bit real, a bit entertaining, but really it's realistic, it's reality. This is what people are going through in their lives. It's unscripted. Also kind of dangerous, though. Was there ever a situation where you sort of felt things might be getting out of hand? Yeah, we've had a few kind of close calls uh, on the show in the past. Uh, I, I, I broke up a scuffle once or twice. Wow. Um, we've, we've dealt with some people who have since been arrested and charged with, you know, pretty meaningful uh, crimes. One, one fellow who the FBI ended up finding because he had created, a, I think, a series of bomb threats at, for the actually it was in the D.C. metro area, I believe. So, you know, yes, there, there are some colorful figures on the show from time to time. But for the most part, I think it's typically people who are just lonely and insecure and looking for love. And we help sort of usher them towards the truth. Okay. And, uh, and the truth of it all is people really just want to find that special someone. They want their somebody in this world to, you know, talk to at the end of the day and have that relationship. I feel like, you know, you've become an expert in sort of navigating a little bit. It's just maybe from your experience of just watching all of this play out. Do you have any advice for someone looking for love online or trying to deal <laughs> with the whole online dating scene? And of course, how not to get catfished? Sure. I mean, I think the first most important thing is if you are trying to meet someone to be with in person, try to, you know, set your proximity, uh, you know, boundary in whatever dating app you're using to sort of local. Uh, I know that it's hard because sometimes catfish will, will set it to sort of be anywhere. And so it'll appear as though they might be close to you. But if you're going to really be in a relationship with someone, presumably it should be in person. So if after a week or two of not talking, of, excuse me, of, of talking, mm -hmm. that person's not able to actually meet you somewhere at a you know show or a gallery or see a movie, you have to then sort of check it and say, well, wait a second, I, I, I do like talking to you, but how much longer am I supposed to talk to you if you live five or six yeah. states over and I'm not going to see you for a few months? Like, where's this going to go? Look for the red flags, right? Look for the moments. Thank you so much. The ninth season of Catfish premieres tomorrow at 5 p.m. only on MTV. We appreciate you. Thanks.